Revit 2017.1 introduces the ability to import native Rhino files. It also improves the import of SAT files by allowing them to be assigned to categories as they're being imported. To import these files, you go to the Insert tab of the ribbon and you click the Import CAD button. Here we need to change the Files of Type drop-down and choose the Rhino Files option. We could also choose the SAT file option as well. Directly beneath that, you'll see the Import as Category drop-down list, so you can map this imported geometry to any one of your Revit categories. In this case, I'll choose Roofs, select my Entrance Pavilion file, and click Open. The import process can sometimes take a little time, so just be patient and allow it to process the data coming in. Once the import is complete, the next step is to move the imported model into the correct position. Now in this case, the levels in my project are actually set at about 100 feet, so they're much higher than the imported model. So here in this uh, axonometric 3D view, I'll go ahead and maximize that view. Let's orbit around slightly, and what you'll notice is that the pavilion is actually sitting down below the model. So I'll use this 3D view to help me get that roughly in the correct position. So I'm going to switch to a right view here in the 3D and just sort of drag it up in front of the building. And then I'll spin around to the front of the building. And because the pavilion is selected, it will also zoom in on it and move it a little bit more closely into position in this direction as well. So that's a pretty good starting point for it. Now let me switch to another view where I can finalize the placement. So this time I'll work directly in my perspective view. And once again, I'll move it roughly first, and then I'll use my align command to uh, finalize placement more precisely by aligning the um, pavilion geometry directly to my Revit geometry. And so this is one of the nice benefits of being able to import these Rhino files is that you can actually snap to them and align them and use your standard modification tools to position them very precisely. So with the new Rhino import feature, you now can bring in popular Rhino files created by your designers and integrate them directly into your Revit workflow.